So I've been racing triathlon since 2007 for seven years. Uh, I raced as an amateur for six years and 2013 has been my first year racing as a professional. So we're here in the Drag to Zero Wind Tunnel today to do some product development testing and also at the same time make a few slight positional changes and see what the effects of those could be. My first trip to the wind tunnel was in spring 2012 and that was with a view to making positional changes on the bike to try and improve my bike split primarily for my Ironman races that I was competing in. So I've been to the wind tunnel twice now, um, both for two hours at a time and each time we've learned some really valuable things about my position and equipment choices and with that knowledge I can go away from the wind tunnel and put into practice some of the things that we've learned and that can be really valuable by the time race day comes around and you can get a lot of free speed on the bike, certainly. I think for me personally, it was really interesting to test a few different helmets. Obviously helmets are something that's very specific to each individual rider. So here at the tunnel, they have a range of different helmets, pretty much every one you could think of. So it's really interesting to see which helmet suits your specific position better. And that's another thing that I've made changes to since leaving the wind tunnel, I've changed my helmet choice. And it's nice to make that decision knowing that you're making the right choice from a speed perspective. So when you come out of the wind tunnel it's likely that there'll be a few positional changes and it's important that you try and adapt to those positional changes. It's not going to happen overnight so you've got to go away in training and put into practice the changes that you've made and that can take a period of time to adjust to and adapt to but once you've done that and you're able to, to comfortably maintain it in training you can have the confidence knowing that you'll get through your race okay. So when I first came into the wind tunnel my uh, my best Ironman bike split was 4 hours and 49 minutes and since leaving the tunnel I've improved that to 4 hours and 28 minutes and also 4 hours and 31 minutes for my two fastest times. So we're talking about 20 minutes improvement that I've made uh, over the course uh, of 18 months or so. Obviously some of that's come from training improvements as well but you know there's data to back up that a lot of it has come from the positional work and changes that we've made from my wind tunnel visits. So for a triathlete of any distance, whether you're racing sprints and Olympics or up to Ironman, it's always a compromise between aerodynamics and comfort. We're always thinking about the impending run, so it's no point having the, the fastest bike position if you get off and your back's so tight that you can't, can't run to the best of your ability. So you've always got to think about being in a position that's comfortable and sustainable, as well as powerful and aerodynamic and allowing you to also run to hopefully as close to your potential as possible. So it's definitely something that's on the mind of every triathlete. Simon, as a triathlete himself, understands the compromise that you need to make between comfort and aerodynamics. So that's something that he's always taking into account when we're looking at positional changes. And as a triathlete, that's really nice to know so that you don't have to worry about whether you're making the right changes. It's Simon guides everything for you so you can be sure that the changes that you're making are tunnel the correct ones.